It's been exactly two hours since this little baby's been born. There we go, Mom. We just need a little help. We just need a little help. Good girl. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Huh, honey? You're awake. Huh, honey? Huh, honey? Okay. Let's make sure we get these back legs before Mama gets up. Hmm? Mama, you want to pull these back legs out? Mama quit pushing, didn't she? It's okay though, cause she's got help now. Okay. I know, you're already trying to eat. Okay, okay, we don't wanna pull this umbilical cord. We wanna let her do that. There we go. Let's get this one foot out from underneath mama. How about that? Oh, you got a nice little white foot, don't you? Get the umbilical cord underneath there. There we go. Okay. Okay. Good job, man. Okay. Good job. <laughs> that umbilical cord is still kind of tight. I don't want to pull that. What do we have? It's a little girl. <laughs> it's a little girl. <laughs> and we're already trying to get up, honey. Yes, we are. Oh, Jonathan's going to get some towels. Oh my gosh, Maggie, look what you did. Look what you did. I don't want to move the baby. Usually I would put her up to mama's face, but she's got the umbilical still really tight and I don't want to be breaking that or moving it or doing anything I shouldn't. I'm gonna just stimulate this baby for a minute and then I'm gonna let mama have her for me. You want to be really vigorous. Hey baby, will you go turn the full alert off? Thank you. Okay, let's leave her alone for a minute. What happened was the head was out, one leg was out, and then this other leg was back here. And so I think she would have had it, yeah. but as soon as I pulled that leg forward, just right out. That was fast. And she's little. She's right at two weeks early. Look at her. She's already suckling the air. <laughs> okay. I'm going to see if I can't move her to her mama. <laughs> yeah. But as soon as she pushes that out a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, baby, you gonna crawl up to your mama? Is that what you gonna do? Are you gonna crawl up to your mama? She's a little tired, so we're giving her a little pickup snack. Hmm. <laughs> she said, "Mama, wake up. Birthday breakfast." Are you already smiling? Are you already smiling and give mama tood? She wants to get up, but she can't because the baby's legs are on her back legs. <laughs> what if I just move her back legs for you? Just like this over here and then mama can get up. Are we wanting to get up already? Mwah. You, you're all fluidy. Oh, and the umbilical cord has been ripped. Okay, that's fine, she did it herself. So that's good. So now what I'm gonna do, we're gonna put her in front of her mama. There we go, mama. There's your baby. There's your baby. She was already wanting to stand up. That's what, yes. 
Yes, Mama. <gasps> Good Mama. She dropped her umbilical cord. Come see your baby, Mama. Don't worry about them. Come see your baby. Come see your baby. Okay, I'm gonna put you right here. I'm gonna let you down. Can we stand? Nope, okay. Can we stand for mama? You're close to standing. Are we really standing up right now? Okay, if you're standing up, I'm gonna leave you to mama. Oh my gosh, <laughs> and we're down. Take care of baby. We're having some contractions and we're pee peeing. I know you're just wanting to peek, but mama is uncomfortable. So I'm gonna just put you over here for a minute so she'll pay attention to her baby. She's like, I've had like 15 of these things. Let me help. Let's all leave her alone for a minute. Mama's still not loving on it yet, but it's laying there. So I'm gonna clean its navel, which is something we do with all of our babies. This is just iodine. And then once I've seen her eat a little bit, we'll give her an enema and make sure she passes her meconium, which is like her first poop. Make sure everything's flowing. Can I come clean on your baby? Ah, honey. Okay, that's been dipped in iodine. So even though that mama has passed her placenta, she's still like cramping really, really bad. And so she's kind of being pissy towards her baby. And that could be towards the fact that she's still in a lot of pain. So we're gonna give her a little pain. Now you have no excuses. Now you have to be nice because you won't hurt. She's been born for about an hour. So we, we, she's got about an hour before we really need to get her some food. Look at you, darling, getting back there. I warmed it up a little bit. Who wants cold fluid up their newborn butt? Well, she walked past her baby. She wants food. We're gonna give it its first enema. Hi, honey. You're not gonna like this at all. Okay. I'll hold it. You put this up the booty hole. Mm -hmm. Being for real? Yep, you can do it and squeeze. Okay. Don't squeeze hard, squeeze slow. It's okay. Slowly up the booty hole and then slowly squeeze. She's not gonna like it. It's okay, she might poop. Get mostly the whole thing. You can squeeze pretty firmly if you're... Stand Think you got it? Stand to the side. It, she'll squirt poop all over you when you pull it out. Yep, yep, you are good. Good job. Abigail just gave her first enema. <laughs> now you can throw it away. Okay. It's been exactly two hours since this little baby's been born. It's pooped, we did its enema. It has eaten. The thing that I'm now watching for is for Maggie to allow it to eat voluntarily. And she's been so much better for the past like 30 minutes kissing on it and like licking on it. They're, they've been nose to nose a bunch, but the problem with Maggie right now is she is still cramping. The labor was fast. She passed her placenta fast. And so her body is still cramping. It's very normal to still be cramping after two hours, but there's nothing left for her body to pass. And that baby got up so fast and has been going for like an hour and 40 minutes now. So, you know, it's like her body's trying to pass stuff it doesn't need to and it's still hurting. 
so that's why she's kind of pissed off like you know the baby's trying to come eat and she's like ah like I'm still cramping you know so now we're just watching for her to stop cramping for her to relax and allow the baby actually I think it might be eating hold on I think I hear it eating <gasps> y'all it's in there eating and she's letting it eat I can hear it gulping from over here and she's standing there and letting it oh my god that makes me feel so good <laughs> we did a little switcheroo with the stalls because you know this happened so suddenly that she's two weeks early I had planned for her full alert to be put in on Tuesday okay I I had planned on putting her in the big bowling stall on that day you know like she wasn't showing any signs until tonight like literally like she had progressed over the last couple days but like had no wax hadn't looked like that big you know and then tonight I walk in white milk white everything and I had the vet come out and put in her full alert and she had to cut her cast legs so we watched her and watched her and we all kind of started dozing off and all of a sudden my phone went off full alert went off <sighs> oh it's been wild y'all I can't believe this I can't believe she did this I'm like shaking I'm cold but I'm also just like seeing that baby just go eat right now after two hours of like being worried that you know we had done something wrong and she was gonna reject it or something <laughs> she's just standing there letting it eat I wish I felt comfortable to go over there and film it right now but I just want to leave them alone and let them be <sighs> Oh, she is eat. She is going to town. Okay, so since she's been so nice now, I'm gonna grab Mama, and then we're gonna do a little more iodine on baby's navel. Make sure it's all clean. Hi, Mama. All right, Abigail, come hold right here. Let me see your little navel. I know. Don't buck at me. Don't buck at me. There we go. There we go. Now you're all good. Now you're all good for tonight. Oh, don't buck at me. She's so sassy already. Yuck. Fingers. Tomorrow, probably afternoon, whenever they can come out, we'll do an IgG test, which is where they take the blood, and then make sure that it got all the colostrum and everything it needed. And if it didn't, sometimes we will have to supplement it. Sometimes it'll need plasma. Um, so that just depends. And then they'll listen to the heartbeat and look at the legs and do all the checkups that it needs. So I'm gonna leave them alone. I'll continue watching them on camera. Um, I'm probably gonna sleep in tomorrow. And then in the afternoon or whenever the vet can come out, we will do a little checkup. So, see y'all then. Hey, let's get up just for a second. Can we look at you? What are we doing? I'm just, like, she's already been running around. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, she's not, uh. I know. I mean, can I go? Good girl. Why are you so sassy? Mama. That's as much as she's done so far. She she gets a little noisy when we're in here, but she doesn't. She said, I'll be a mama now. She was so like anti-child last night. And then we have the hiccups. Hi, kiddo. But your legs look good. Straight legs. Oh. <laughs> oh, I know. Look at your gums. Make sure you're all good. Yeah, you. I love the minimal white. Yeah. She looks like Maggie, even though Maggie. I know. Like her mom. <laughs> I was saying that I love when the recips actually look like they could be their parents. All right, let's. Yeah, hook her little head on your elbow. Don't get my head, baby. Right. I've been head butted so many times. I know it. You are crazy. I know it. You gotta have it done though, honey. There you go. There you go. See? There you go. Oh, you're 
go. That was all we needed, honey. Is she good to let go? Yeah, there you go. Oh, she's mad. She is mad. Oh, she's so mad. She said, I need me some milk now. Are you keeping her or does she go back? I actually place? bought her. I didn't initially buy her. I just bought the embryo. Really sweet. But then she was so, I mean, when do you find a recip that's so easy to handle and so yeah. sweet and chill? I have three mares that were uh, breeding really early on. So it'll help her having a January baby, yeah. being ready to be a recip again by February. It'll, it'll help out a lot. And she's only seven, so. That's another thing. Usually yeah. the nice recips are like 15. <laughs> I wonder what her story is. She was, she's a, she's a thoroughbred. She's a racetrack Aww. horse. You weren't very fast. You're a good mama though. Plenty of milk. I was watching her nurse last night once she chilled out and like the one side was just spewing while yeah. she was nursing. So we're doing the IgG test right now. We just did the physical exam and she passed with flying colors. Literally, she is so spunky and so funny. Like she's been running around the stall all morning. We actually already took her outside and let her run around in the arena earlier. And she was like already doing zoomies. But the IgG test is a blood test and it makes sure that she gets all the maternal antibodies that she needs. So we usually try to do it within 12 hours of the baby being born. So we're like, we're like right at, maybe 12 hours right now, I think. Yeah, because it's like around two. We do that, the test because they want to make sure they get full but bellies of milk, but the milk sometimes doesn't have what it needs to. Like, for instance, my mare Annie, two years ago, she waxed for 21 days before she fold. So she lost all of her colostrum, which is that really important milk that the baby needs to jumpstart their immune system. And so with Maggie, it was a little worrisome because she was dripping white milk for hours prior to the baby being born. So we were worried that maybe she didn't have what the baby needed, but we're about to see right now. And honestly, with the fact that she's running laps in the stall, I think she's probably fine, but we gotta make sure. She's passed, passed everything. Passed all the tests with flying colors. Let's go. She scared me just for a second cause like my parents were out of town and like, I, I mean, I've handled stuff on myself before, but you know, you don't have your safety blanket. Yeah. And then like, it was just so sudden. And um, like when she just did everything so quickly, but then was like, I mean, she was late. The baby was like literally trying to get up and she was just sitting there, like didn't even look at it. And then the other mares were making her nervous and she was pinning her ears at her baby. And I was just like, don't do this to me. But then she, she came around. I hope your New Year's day stays very uneventful. I hope so. <laughs> see ya well what a way to ring in the new year this is just honestly crazy um we did not film them going out in the pasture well pasture the arena this morning um, i did on my phone so that'll be on facebook and tiktok and stuff but we will be doing um a youtube video of them going out in the pasture probably later this week we like to let our mares and babies like get a little more sturdy on her feet, which she honestly seems sturdy enough on her feet. She was fine out in the arena today. Um, so we'll film that and that'll be such a fun thing to watch. It's like my favorite time ever when the mares and the babies get to go frolic together for the first time. So stay tuned for that. Let me know if you have any questions about the process. We have five more mares that are gonna foal this year, not counting the mini mares, not counting the mini donkeys, not counting the couple of cows we have coming in January. So. It's a crazy year and this just kicked it off. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.